How to make glitch gifts for free using Paint.net. The first thing you're going to need is the program Paint.net, or an equivalent. The reason I suggest Paint.net is because it's powerful and most importantly free. If you don't have Paint.net, then I recommend you check out my video How to Download Paint.net, so you can safely install it. After you've installed Paint.net, or if you already have it installed, open it up, and let's start glitching up an image to turn it into our GIF. By the way, you don't have to make a GIF using this method. If you just want to mess up a regular image glitch style, you can just do that and make a regular non-animated piece of glitch art. If that's what you want to do, it's up to you. This is a fairly simple but effective method for making a particular kind of glitch GIF. First you have to make a series of slides, or frames, whatever you want to call it. It can be as few as just two frames, but if you really want your glitch GIF to have some depth, I recommend making it mm, like four or five. You can pick an image at random from Google, or you can make something custom. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a custom logo. So step one, create a new layer. You'll do that by clicking this little green plus sign on the box in the lower right hand corner that says Layers. Go back down to your bottom layer, the layer with the image on it. Because when you create a new layer, it stacks on top. So you want to make sure that you go down to the, the layer that contains your image. Now press Control A, then Control C. Now go back up to your second transparent layer and press Control V. That's going to paste a duplicate of our original image on the top layer. That's the one we're going to dice up. Okay. Now, to your upper left hand side there is a skinny rectangular box that says Tools. Select the first button down on the left corner. That's your Rectangle Select tool. We'll be using that to cut our image into slices. It says Rectangular Select, but you can also make square cutouts or any sort of variation on the square rectangle shape if you want. I'm going to stick to Rectangular Slivers because that's the way I like to do it. Once you make your cut, you'll have to switch tools. As you can see, there's sort of a dotted or dashed outline of your cut. That's how you'll know that you've made your cut selection. Then. Go back over here to your tools box and click the button to the immediate right of the rectangle select button. It's this little blue arrow here. Now back to our image and just slide this chunk around wherever you see fit. The aesthetic is all up to your own personal opinion. However you want to mangle this thing, it's all you. Go ahead. Although, I like to gradually step up the cuts per frame so there's a cleaner transition when you turn it into a GIF. Obviously, if you're just going to make some glitch art out of a still picture, it's not going to matter. You can go ahead and just mess it up to your heart's content. When it comes to the GIF, though, I think you guys will see what I mean when I put it all together at the end. So, basically what you're going to do is keep making cuts and moving them around until they please your own eyes. It's all up to you. And when you get one to where you want it, where you would like it, go down to your layers box down here. Along the bottom there, there's a, a button right smack in the middle that looks like two sheets of paper with a tiny downward arrow on it. Now, make sure that your very top layer is highlighted, or that button isn't going to work. You need the top layer to be highlighted or it won't merge down. There's no merging up, just merging down. Once you've done that, go up here to the top left corner, File, click, drop down, scroll down to Save or Save As, and save it as whatever you want. But I recommend a numbered system to make it easier. I also recommend making a designated folder for convenience to keep all the affiliated files together. But again, you can do whatever you want to do. This is just how I do it. Now repeat the process with like maybe three more images. You can make it two if you want. A minimum of two 
but I recommend three or four to make it smoother. But again, it's all personal choice. It's all up to you. Just make sure that you make them all different. They don't have to be radically different, just different enough. But if you want to make them radically different, go for it. That's totally up to you. Okay, now, when you have your completed frames, you're going to open your web browser of choice. I like to use Firefox or Opera. Whatever you use, that's up to you as well. Now, type in www.167.lunapic.com forward slash editor. The link will be in the description. So to make it even easier, you can just go into the description and click the link. Over here to the right, this big button that says Browse. Click that. Then open the folder that has your chopped up image and select the first one. That's going to upload your image to the main edit page. So now there's a tab on the upper right here that says Animation. Hover your mouse over that and you should get a drop down menu. The very first thing on the list here is Edit GIF Animation. Click that. You should see a list of options called GIF Animation Edit Tools. Now on that list, scroll. You'll see five items down. Add Animation Frame. Click that. Under where it says Add Frames by Hand, there's a button that says Choose File. Right next to where it says Additional Frame. Click that. Then add the second frame you created. Click Upload Now. And repeat this step for however many frames you made. Okay, lastly, you can set your animation setting speed here. Super fast, fast, normal, slow. You can set the rate at which one you want the images to transition at. So if you want it to be slow, fast. A faster transition, of course, is going to make it more glitchy. Or you can set custom times for each frame by clicking Frame Timing. That's going to take you to a new page where you can set custom seconds or milliseconds on each, of, each one of your frames. So if you want one image to display for a longer amount of time before it transitions to the next, you can do that here. Now go ahead and play with it. Tweak it however you want. See what looks good to you. And when you have it how you like it, click Apply. Finally, you'll have your finished product here. To save it to your computer, there's a Save button right here. or you can right click on your GIF, open image in a new tab, then right click again, save image as, and name it whatever you want. You can put it in a special folder just for GIF projects, or you can stick it in the same folder with uh, your other glitched frames. It's up to you. So yeah, there you go. I know this is not exactly the way everybody does it, but this is the way I do it. Hopefully it at least gives you guys some ideas and it allows you to create some awesome stuff. Since it's free, I thought I'd share it. And I hope that you have fun making your glitch art. Peace.